Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of The Potterer with me as The Potterer. And so in this episode, as in every episode of the series, we try to get more of these flowers or saplings or basically whatever goes in the pot, flower pots. And we try to, and we keep going until we complete our goal, oh my goal, of getting every one of these there are inside of the flower pots. Ignoring, of course, at least I think it is, ignoring the um, empty flower pot. So what, I'm trying to think what we can do. I think today is probably gonna be a best day for an exploration episode. So I'm gonna quickly just break down the, the coordinates. Okay, coordinates have been written down. And so I guess I'm gonna keep going. In which direction is this? West. Or, I guess, any direction. Actually, I want to head in south this way, because I think I can see trees over there, and that waterfall just looks interesting, which is the main thing I saw first before the trees. And wow, the game's starting to lag. Okay. I bet it's probably because I'm generating new chunks. Or actually, I know what might fix. Let's lower my render distance down. Because that usually can help with performance so let's keep going here and there's also some lava in case I need that also on the lookout for any any new flower type really because I have the poppy and I have the dandelion but not really like any of the other traditional flowers or see which we're already in a new biome here which is a promising sight and that grass has a really nice color to it and I do see oak trees. There are birch trees. And I believe I still need the birch sapling. And in general, I don't have... I'm not doing really well on the wood front. Potentially a tree farm may be good in the future. A near future. Or I could just come out here every single time. And chop down a tree. Which... Ooh, don't fall down there. Which... Could be a little bit, um... On the annoying side. And wow, that's like a perfect circle. Like, granted, of course, it's in Minecraft or the game of squares, but that looks pretty interesting how that formed. So, look for more of the flowers. I'm trying to keep remembering, but I'm sure I'm gonna skip past some. And if I do, you can easily just tell me in the comments, however. As I'm sure I've mentioned in many of my videos, these are all pre-recorded, and the first episode of the series hasn't even gone online yet. Wonder if I can make that water jump. Probably. Let's try it. Ooh, that was pretty close. The game lagged right as I was about to hit it, so I don't know if how close I was to it, but it did seem ooh, it did seem really close, but. I have to interrupt myself because I just found a new flower type. A lily of the valley. So that is nice. It's another one down from the list. I do also want to get the, what's it called? Go into the nether it's pretty soon. Or I know I will have to sometime in the future because Number one, I need all the nether um, plants you can put in, like the fungus, or the crimson slash warped roots. N not roots. Is I think it is roots. Uh, and there we go. There's a birch sapling to use. And another one would be appreciated so I can plant it, but yeah, there is some. Okay, cool. So, and then where's the other tree here? I don't think it's gonna decay fast enough for me. Just I don't want to just sit there and wait for it. And I'm trying to look for some of these flowers, but these double tall ones don't actually fit within a flower pot, and you can't plant them. And I'd really appreciate a water bucket right now, but I really need to go mining and get some iron. It'd be really easy. 
see if I could just jump off and place the water to stop my fall from taking damage. So, any other thing over here? I mean, this does look nice. It actually looks pretty nice. Let's try to keep going, maybe. Do I actually have... I don't think I have all the flower pots I need. So some of this clay might be very handy. So I just want to mine up some of this. Where's... Okay, there it is. I'll just keep that in my inventory for now. Something I've... Is that nether... Ooh, that's probably a ruined portal up there. Well, not probably. It definitely is a ruined portal up there. So I'd like to get to that to see what types of loot it has. I think, obs I think obsidian would probably be one of the best things for it. There's an enderman over there. I don't think I'd like to try challenging him right now. Because I'd almost definitely die to him. Now, how do I get up there is the big question. Also, this does actually give me a pretty nice view. A vantage point to see nothing, really, of interest. When is maybe this waterfall? I don't think so, because I'd have to go... Ooh, okay. I'd have to go over there and then climb up and... I think I might just tower up for this. To use the birch logs that I just mined down. They just chopped down, I mean. So, let's get as close as I can. Like here, so I'm pretty good. Yeah. Let's just pile up. One more. Ooh, this does actually look pretty nice too. You can see all the over there. You can see. The reason I'm looking this way is because the fog it helps with, but that does look pretty nice. And then what's in the? And yeah, you can see all the obsidian here. I don't think there's actually any crying obsidian here. That's interesting. Which means I could literally use this location for it. But okay, one piece of obsidian, curse of binding, golden boots, and an unbreaking one, golden axe, with a light weighted pressure plate, aka the golden pressure, the golden pressure plate. So I did just complete the ice bucket challenge, as I'm sure you see in the chat. And then, I, mm, I don't think I'm going to bother with the nether arc. Because I can easily go to the nether once I get like all the materials I need for it. Hmm. And then, I believe I was coming going that way. Yeah. And you see just a bunch more of the snowy biome. So I'm going to quickly cut ahead until I'm finished chopping down this pole. And make my way a little further that way to see what's going on. I guess a shield would also be useful here. Um, yeah, that's an interesting view. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I'm going to cut it back in there. So I was just wandering over from the room portal. You can still see. And I was about to like just re-walk up to show you. So I can just cut in. But... Yeah, that is cool. That is a very nice view. <laughs> I'm taking a screenshot of that. That is epic looking. Anyway. Yeah, what was it? So, I was going this way. Now I hear zombies. Um, I don't know where are they Here he is. <laughs> There's a cave, or maybe not a cave, like some opening of a cave, at least going in that direction. And I don't really feel like going there, so, right now. So, keep going this way. Yeah, I'm sure you, ooh, a sheep that might be useful for its wool. Where's 
the skeleton. I'm just gonna. Oh, that's not gonna work, is it? Uh oh. Just um, wait out the night here, and nope, not you. Basically, let's just make a crafting table, make a bed, make a bed, and then, yeah, just sleep the night away. Hopefully that skeleton's not close enough that it would interfere with the bed thing. So, we have three wool, we have three wood, we have a white bed. I do realize it's gonna get rid of my spawn point, but I do have the coordinates written down. In fact, I'm gonna just screenshot them as well, sort of like a backup. You can keep that over there. And then let's just head out now. And get the skeleton. And don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. Oh, he shoot, shot me. Is he gonna burn daylight yet? There we go. He's gone. He's dead. Just regenerate some health. A bit of another lag spike. And then this direction, sort of, is where we're going. And this spider and creeper down there, don't want to mess with. And there's some lava that's casually burning away a bunch of trees. I really don't like this snowy biome. I kind of wish I didn't end um, spawn in, in the snowy biome. But it's a creeper all the way down there. And there. Actually, there's a creeper there. There. There was one there and there, or maybe it's that one, and then there was one that one. Basically, there were four orange creepers that you saw. But what I was going to say is, it's kind of annoying I don't have shears, because those ferns there, I believe a fern is actually something that is necessary, but I can't collect them without a pair of shears, so. And I can't make shears unless I make or have iron. bit annoying that I don't have that I don't have the iron but it's okay I guess yeah so we can head up here and there's a fox and another one it seems whole well, family of foxes whole two families a whole family of two. Is that actually, is that guy in the tree? There's a fox in the tree. Don't know how I didn't notice that earlier. There's the fox. In its natural habitat. In its natural habitat. The tree. Oh boy. Oops, wrong button again. There we go. What's over there in the corner? Nothing much. Ooh, that fall would definitely kill me. I mean, it could try to jump in the water. And I'd honestly say there's about a 50-50 chance that I made it. So, I don't want to die with and lose all my items. So, I'm just not going to attempt that. I keep thinking of the swamp over there, but it's not. Uh, where's the zombie? I don't know where he is. This is honestly getting very annoying to navigate. And just do something like that. And there's water there. You know, it might be worth it. Just drop in the water. There we go. And then... I could probably make that. It's 
give it a go. There we go. Of course, never a doubt. And let's just head back up here. And see some lava. But I'm not actually getting any anywhere thing of interest. And I got the lil Lily of the Valley, and I did see that ruined portal, but besides that, nothing too exciting. Actually, I will take the sugar cane, though. What's this? Oh, uh, just nothing. The sugar cane could come in handy. Just grab that. And there's a cane down there. It's a skeleton. Unless there's like visible, oh there is. This visible iron ore. Sorry for being quiet, I'm just concentrating. Very hard. Um, don't have any coal on me, which is a shame. Oh, there's some right here. I know you guys probably can't see a thing, but I'm having sort of a similar problem. Like, I can only just see some of this. And then that was iron ore there. That's not good. It's actually very good. This means I can make the shield I was talking about earlier. And shears and... Um... Yeah, sorry. So, just quickly grab this piece, this vein, I guess you should, I could say. That's iron ore. You're an iron ore. You're an iron ore. And I will oh, there's some more. I was gonna say I was gonna grab the coal, but then I ended up seeing a net. I have more torches right here in my offhand, don't I? <laughs> I didn't even see them. Not one bit. What Y level are we even at? 63. So this is like the average Y level then. Okay. I think I am approaching the... Sort of like the limit for this episode here. So in between, so I'm gonna end the episode here, and then in between episodes, I'm gonna quickly like smelt up this iron, grab a fern, wander all the way back to my base, and then yeah, we'll call it. We'll go back to there. Start the next episode there. So thank you all for watching this episode of the Potter, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye.